the United Nations Statistics Commission. In doing so, I want to talk to the theme of trust and greatness. Statistics is a conduit of trust. In that respect, I wish you all a happy International Year of Sustainable Tourism. And indeed, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to deliver this statement on behalf of the global community of official statisticians. Let me start by saying how remarkable and heartening it is to see so many of you here this morning to a conference which is focused on measurement and statistics, because statistics is a conduit of trust. With all this attention, I can truly say that it is a wonderful time to be a statistician. Statisticians are dining with royalty and the well healed. I trust they will contribute positively to the high table for betterment of humanity. Shakespeare in the Twelfth Night says, some are born great, others achieve greatness, while some others have greatness thrust upon them. Statisticians have to define themselves in this context. Since 2000, 2000, I have served and still serve my country, South Africa, as Statistician General. And it is my duty and my privilege to lead my office, which is Statistics South Africa, in producing and providing the high quality of official statistics for evidence-based policy making at the national and sub-national levels. I'll come back to this role of statisticians. I'm also proud to have served at the international level as chairperson of the 39th and 40th session of the United Nations Statistics Commission in 2008 and 2009. And in that period, in 2009, September, I was responsible for hosting the 57th session of the International Statistics Institute, the World Cup of Statistics. This statistical commission was established in 1947 and brings together every year the chief statisticians from all member states around the world. It is the highest decision-making body for official statistics. This commission defines the common language of statistics for virtually all economic, environmental, or social matters. When we talk about death rates, about our national income or debt, about carbon emissions, about unemployment, we, the UN member states, and we, the people, can understand each other because we have defined the measurement of these concepts in a specific way through the Statistical Commission. It is worth noting that in 2008, I had the honor to chair, as chair, to say the words, it is so decided, and I had this problem, and when I hit it on the table, it is so decided for statisticians. And in that respect, uh, this was for the adoption of the international recommendations for tourism statistics. At that moment, we collectively decided that the rules would be for the measurement of tourism statistics. We decided who is a, a visitor, what is a tourism trip, what is it covered by tourism expenditure, and how to deal with tour operators. Those were things we decided, and today I'm very pleased that I can enjoy the tourism environment rather than measure it, but actually enjoy it myself about it. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to briefly take pause with the importance of official statistics and trusted data in a world in which media in general and social media in particular have taken an increasingly prominent role in which all of us are confronted with fake news and alternative facts on a daily basis. The lines between uh, what is fact and what is fiction have become blurred in everyday life. What is natural and what is artificial, including artificial plants, what is real and what is virtual have become almost impossible to distinguish. The day of robotics is here with us. Imagine when we have successfully gone into a conversation uh, with, in the Philippines and we have said, Omagandang, oh, Umaga. And unbeknown to you, the lady robot responds seductively, and you go further and say, Inibikita. <laughs> Quite possibly, if not careful, one may wear the robot and discover just too late and pay damages to an immortal object. The difference between fact and fiction is very black. Against this background, it is now more crucial than ever that safeguards are in place to maintain public trust in official statistics. My knowledge of Maganda Umaga in Ibikita has nothing to do with Dr. Africa, who was the chief statistician of uh, the Philippines in the 1995 when I visited the Philippines. It had nothing to do with Mr. Ramolo, Dr. Ramolo, who was the former statistician of this 
neither has it do anything to do with Lisa Bessels, who is the chief statistician currently. It had to do with a teacher from the Philippines who taught me mathematics in 1975. He taught me these languages, including Maganda Umaga, Maganda Hapo, Salamapo, as well as Inilikita. <laughs> It is therefore important to note that on the 29th January 2014, the United Nations General Assembly unanimously endorsed the fundamental principles of official statistics and offered in this way significant political support for the independence of official statistics. For example, principle two states that to retain trust in official statistics, the statistical agencies need to decide according to strictly professional considerations, including scientific principles and professional ethics. In times when facts are sometimes being challenged, the society should be able to retain trust in the information communicated by the statistical agencies. That is why I say statistics is a conduit of trust. The focus of this conference is on the measurement of sustainable tourism. This topic covers all three pillars of sustainability, namely the economic, social, and environmental pillars for people, planet, and prosperity. This day is a beautiful and at the same time very challenging topic. The tourism sector provides income and employment, but could come at a cost for the environment and the cultural heritage. That is why we need to measure all these aspects in a coherent and integrated way. Gone are the days when the environment had no one to speak on its behalf, not when robots can speak for themselves and pass easily for living organisms. Certainly, the environment deserves better and should, should and demand to be treated with dignity. In this regard, sustainable tourism is, to, is of course a prime example for the goals and targets of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Tourism can be a driver for the economy, lift parts of society out of poverty, and improve health and education, while pointing to the needs for sanitation, clean water, renewable energy, and clean energy, and easing of environmental pressures. Over the three days of the conference, the statistical framework for measuring sustainable tourism will be discussed in detail, and I'll shun detail in this opening remarks. However, let me underscore a few important conditions for effective measurement. First, institutional cooperation. The National Statistics Office cannot collect, compile, and disseminate statistics all by itself. It needs cooperation and support from many national institutes, especially for a multidimensional topic such as tourism. Second and foremost, close cooperation should exist between the National Tourism Authority and the statistical office. Ministries of Labor and one on the one hand and the environment have to be involved too on the other. Stakeholder interaction, that is the second. Rarified and quiet statisticians need to go out and talk more to the users of the data, such as the tourism association, tour operators, cultural heritage associations, and environmental protection groups, and of course, enjoy the tourist, uh, attractive tourist destination. Those interactions will create mutual understanding and support and obviously prove to be more exciting than an acting robot-like statistician behind a computer. Stakeholder engagement was also at the center of the first uh, ever UN World Data Forum, which was hosted by Statistics of Africa in Cape Town in January of this year. This forum brought together government, business, businesses, civil society, and the scientific and academic communities to find new initiatives and solutions that will deliver better data for all. We need, thirdly, systems approach. Tourism statistics cannot be properly understood by itself. It needs to be embedded in a theoretical and statistical framework. Through such integrated approach, we can better understand what the contributions of the tourism sector are for the national economy, for employment, for waste management, for energy use, for health services, for maintenance of coral, uh, coral reefs, and so forth. The integrated system approach brings all of the economic social and environmental aspects together and provides in that way the information needed by the policymakers and needed by all tourist stakeholders. Being in Asia, I may display a few abilities in language, such as I said Salamapo, Ariaka Tor, Okentom Tor, and so on for different regions in Asia. Let me conclude by re-emphasizing that the statistical community seeks to work closely together with all of the stakeholders, be it in government, academia, private sector, or civil society. It is our duty to provide relevant official statistics as an indispensable element in the information system of a democratic society. Statistics 
is a quaint feat of trust, and greatness have come to statisticians. Let me then, therefore, thank you very much, uh, the distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, Salam Apo, Okin Tom Tom, and thank you very much. Okay.